Great ingredients. Serve piping hot. A perfect combination. Like you and Pick and Pay. Wow, thanks, Liesl. You just made me feel like Gordon Ramsay there. Two men who can't cook, Frank and Katlego. Huh? She, she just compared me to you and said that I can cook, you know? Two people that can cook, can you imagine? Everybody can cook, especially you, Katlego. Thank you very much. How but was Father's Day, man? It was awesome. I had, to wear, I had to wear a paper tie the whole day, which was my Father's Day card. <laughs> So I clipped it on a t-shirt, went for lunch, everybody loved it. Are you sure you weren't being initiated in high school? No, 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 it just felt like it. <laughs> All right, sir, so, so what is for supper tonight? Actually, it's for breakfast. Is it for breakfast? Yeah. But you can eat it for supper tonight, if you want. You can, actually. Yeah. Very, very few people eat eggs for, for, for supper, but it's always a very good, um, a very good um, um, option. Clearly, you, know? you haven't been on the low budget, hey? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Because you know when the budget's cutting, those eggs are the best. <laughs> <laughs> like scramble, <laughs> two seconds. Exactly. Anyway, something different, you know, mm -hmm. you, when you think breakfast eggs, you think either fried eggs, poached egg. And funny enough, the way, the, what, what the, this dish is called, is called oeuf au plat. Oeuf au plat. And if you ask for an oeuf au plat in France, it will be actually a, um, a sunny side up fried egg. Oh, yes? Because plat also means flat. Okay. But flat. the origin of the dish is the plat is actually a dish. And you break the eggs in the dish. Yes. You put some garnishes and you bake them in the oven. All oh, right. So it, it's like a little individual, your little your little dish of eggs mm -hmm. with whatever you want in it. So let's make them. What we're going to do today, mm -hmm. I've got in the oven, and they need to be in the oven maybe for one more minute. Yes. The actual dishes in which we put some cream. Okay. So the dish becomes hot and the, and the cream becomes hot. All right. Okay, then you, we, you're going to crack some eggs in those for, for us. But yes. in the meantime, I'm just going to slice some chorizo. So how many eggs do I crack into this? Just one, right? Yeah, well, you, you need to crack them one at a time, yeah. Yes, okay. So, uh, um, can I try the one egg breaking thing? Please try. Actually, always crack, <laughs> always crack an egg on a flat surface. Because let me show you once. You crack an egg on a flat surface. Because then, you, you give yourself a really good area yeah. to put your thumbs in, and then it should work out. But that's not the trick, Frank. That's not the trick. The What's trick is trick? supposed to do it with one hand, like oh, one, crack no, no, it no, no, in. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. There. You want to do it again? Let me give you a dish. <laughs> no, no, I want, I want to see this. Okay. There we go. With my left. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Whoa. my word. No, you see, it didn't work. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry, the, the shell kind of, I don't know, it seared the yolk. But we'll, you know what? Over. We'll use it anyway. Okay, cool. Because these things happen. Yes. So let's get this thing out. Get those out of here. Okay, cool. And remember, if you're at home and you would like to get the ingredients to this recipe, SMS the keyword eggs to 33728. And of course, this will also be on our Moby site, espressoshow.mobi. All right, so the, cool. egg, one, the cream is hot, slightly boiling. You put the egg in. Yeah. So let's crack some more. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll do this one properly now. Okay, cool. Uh, the, the one egg thing doesn't And then work. while you do that, I'm going to slice. This is not on the recipe, but I'm going to add some peppers to it as well, just for color. And also uh -huh. red peppers and chorizo kind of like really work together. All right. Good yeah, that's two cool. each. So you can put the. Oh, in. okay, cool. Here's the other and one. then the one that's that's broken, use it as well. Okay, go. Cool. Oh man, I just spilled some cream on your on your dish, mate. Sorry. No, um, it's, yeah. Well, we're just talking about your your prowesses in the kitchen. Just sorry. Not yeah, sure yeah Liesl jinx me. She jinxed me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. There we go. This one goes in. Yeah. So now <laughs> let's put some goodies in there. Ooh, lots of goodies. So look, you can also you can also put break, breakfast sausages if you want. Oh, doesn't nice. Have to be, doesn't have to be chorizo. So you could. This is like almost like making your own omelet. You could add whatever you want to it. It's exactly that. Boom. You can do that. You see, it's all in the mind. It's all in the mind. I don't have to be able to do it here as long as I can tell some person what to do. Okay. So what's this is this is parmesan. Parmesan cheese. Use, what do I do with sprinkle. it? Sprinkle. Sprinkle over. Sprinkle. Yes. I'm sprinkling man. some fresh thyme. Yes. That's all on the recipe. Fresh thyme, uh, it's always better to use fresh herbs, eh? And then that goes back in the oven. Ah, man. Will you open it for me and I'll put it in? Yes, yes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Okay, cool. Very important. I think we need more cheese, though. <laughs> ah. Are you that kind of guy that just always puts too much cheese on the pasta? I am, I am. Okay. I like this. There's never enough cheese. All right, so you get it in there. So this goes into 160 degrees uh, Celsius. 160, 180. Oven. Yeah, preheated. Preheated. So obviously, you had, the, you had the bowl with the yeah, sauce in there and whatnot, on. so. All right, so what hands? May I? Cool. So basically, and then we've got one ready behind you. Mm -hmm. Then we can take a look at them. Let's, let's do that. Ooh. So that's so, what it looks like. So how long does it go for? About eight minutes. Eight minutes. It depends how you like your eggs. Some people like the eggs. Here, the yolk here is still a bit soft. Yeah. So that's eight minutes. Uh huh. But what I like about this is you can actually just, it's just different. It is, it looks, it looks so, beautiful. It's a little breakfast and yeah. like, you know, it's just different. And how would you serve it up? So would you have, let's say, your bread on the side? Let's get these. I would serve it just exactly like that. Mm -hmm. 
in the dish with a fork and a knife. Uh -huh. And then some crispy, you can put some butter on this or a drizzle of olive oil and then just tuck in. So nice, man, so nice. I think, shall we tuck in? Where's our knife and fork? Okay, What's going okay. on? I'll get, I'll What's get. What's going on? There you go. Right there, look at that, look at that. Oh, yes. It'll have to be a knife and spoon. <laughs> Works just as well. <laughs> Gotta get into that. The chorizo, I mean, it's like such a nice, uh, it's a nice the flavors are beautiful. All right, all right, get a bit of this. People are gonna be like, oh, there goes Katai who are eating again. This is important, people, you know? Mmm. <laughs> nice. You this like? is good. It's good. It's really, I really think good. So, yes. Mm. And if you're vegetarian, you just, you know, lose the sausage, put something else in. Mm. Put some cheese, halloumi, whatever. There we go. Remember that keyword eggs to 3378 to get the ingredients and also expresso show.mobi for all of those. We'll be right back after this break.